8.6, we're going to look at the binary number system. Instead of going through the way the book does it here, uh, I have some conversion videos I've made for my math class that I'll uh, list below. Uh, but right here, this is a good chart for the small binary values. So a 0 is a 0, a 1 is a 1. In binary, there is no number 2. Well, there's no digit of 2. So 10 is 2. 11 is 3, and then there is no digit past 1. So the next number up right here is 1, 0, 0. So you could almost think of 1 kind of acts like the digit 9, where what's after 9? Well, the digit after 9 is 10. So you can almost think of this as a digit 0, and this is a digit 9, except that it's a little weird because 9 has the value of 1. But what comes after 9, it's the 10, a 1, and then a 0, uh, which you could think of actually as 90, and think of that as 99, which represents 3. Uh, so it's a bit tricky, so I'll link some conversion videos, which covers what we do here. But the way we convert from a base 10 to a base 2 is we divide by 2. We look at that value and the remainder. And then we'll be writing the recursive binary method next.